Well, folks, at this point, it's not exactly a 100% sure thing, but there's really only one day left for Nintendo Direct to be announced if it's going to happen this week, which is quite fascinating. Nintendo typically does Directs in the first or second week of February, and obviously we had a couple of rumors technically for this week. One of them was completely made up by somebody who formerly known as Tommy Bear Knows, who has gone on to delete his account because he said a bunch of stuff and... Turns out he was just faking it, almost like we called the entire time. Tommy Bear doesn't know anything because Tommy Bear is fake. What a surprise. He is now, along with Zippo, no longer going to be talked about on my channel. Beyond that, we also have to talk about Special Nick. He said that he had heard last week that a direct would happen this week, and so far it hasn't. Now, he never gave us a date, and he just said it's what he's heard, and he's more of an Xbox guy than a Nintendo guy, but he has gotten some Nintendo stuff correct in the past. Technically, he still might be right. I don't know. Again, as I always have to remind people, I don't know anything. I'm just out here reporting on things that other people are talking about. And today is that case again. As a rumor has popped up, what a surprise for a Nintendo Direct to be next week. Where are we getting this rumor from? Well, an actual Nintendo insider with a proven track record who falls in our reliable category in Necro Felipe Lima. Don't believe me? Here's my little chart. And as you can see, yeah, he's reliable, or at least usually reliable. That being said, when we go over and look at his website here, Universo Nintendo, this has actually been Google translated from, I believe, Portuguese. It says, sources, new Nintendo representation should take place next week. The company plans to release this news for the first half of the year, and there is Necro Felipe Lima. All right, as we scroll down here, We'll see that it says traditionally maintaining its regular pre presentations in February, Nintendo should soon hold another digital event to publicize its upcoming news focused on the first half of 2024. According to information obtained by Nin Universal Nintendo from sources who choose to remain anonymous, the company should hold its traditional presentation of news through a Nintendo Direct next week on February 15th. He's actually updated this article because yesterday it said between the 12th and the 15th. Now he's locked it down. He's updated it. February 15th is when he is saying this Nintendo Direct is going to happen. Again, a rumor. Now he doesn't know the format of this presentation, whether a mini or general, has not been presented to us, as well as its definitive date so far, which has obviously changed. You forgot to update that part of the article because literally this said 12th to 15th yesterday. Now it says 15th today. So what does this mean? Well, obviously, Nintendo Direct next week, uh, probably. Look, Nintendo traditionally, again, does Directs in the first or second week of February. So, yeah, the 15th is possible with an announcement on February 14th. And for those of you out there that think Nintendo doesn't do Directs on that time frame, well, 2019, I believe, was on the 13th, the day before, you know, uh, Valentine's Day. And then the Direct in 2018 was on the 17th, which is a few days after. So, yeah, Nintendo doesn't really give a crap about Valentine's Day is essentially what I'm saying. So February 15th is now the new rumored date for the Direct. And if it's not next week, then there probably isn't a Direct. I, again, I always have to remind people that I am not an insider. I do not know when Directs are going to happen. I can look at it and I can speculate on it and I can make educated guesses based on Nintendo's patterns. But I personally don't know. I spend my time reporting on things that other people are saying. This time, he is actually a fairly reliable insider who has been literally right on this stuff before. So I'm willing to give him a lot more credit. That's why he's in our reliable category than other people like Zippo that we talked about and now no longer will be talking about. So I'm going to go out there and talk a little bit about my expectations for this Direct. You see, we just had Nintendo do their financial report, and one of the big things that came out of that was talking about how Switch is the you know, main focus of them heading into 2024 because it's their main revenue driver, which that makes a lot of sense. And that, to me, means this Direct is probably our last Nintendo Switch-focused Direct. I do not expect, and I want to make this clear, I do not expect a Switch 2 announced in this thing. And you might go, well, Nate, that really contradicts things that you reported on last Friday. And if you want to go back to that last Friday video where I talked about how some upper management at GameStop had heard about the prospect of needing to prepare for Nintendo Switch 2 pre-orders, that was the actual news. 
Uh, everything else stated was speculation, both on me just asking this person who told me this information questions, and he was obviously just speculating as well based on patterns he has seen at GameStop in the past. But here's the reality. Nintendo's never unveiled hardware in a Direct, and you should not go into that Direct expecting Switch 2 to be unveiled. Is it impossible? No, nothing's impossible. But I would suspect this is mostly going to focus on the Nintendo Switch. Now, when we think about that, the very next day we're going to be having Mario vs. Donkey Kong come out. Wouldn't be surprised if they do the launch trailer for the game in that Direct. That wouldn't be so shocking to me. Also, there'll be obviously more information and new stuff happening for Princess Peach Showtime. We're probably going to get a date as well for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. We may get a date for Thousand Year Door as well. That's going to be a bit out there. I don't know if it's still like second half of the year and a ways off. They may not give us a date until June, but it's possible we could get a release date for that as well. And then we just get into all of the other stuff that could be here. Lots more ports and remasters. Maybe a couple of new games that are, again, on the smaller scale for Nintendo. What those games might be, it could, you know, like a new side-scrolling Kirby game, as an example. Uh, something like that could be on deck for this Direct. We also could obviously see some ports and remasters. A lot of people thinking Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. There's been all this Zelda stuff, a Zelda concert this Friday. So we've, we there's, there's all of that. Actually, what I want to encourage you guys to actually do is go watch our last episode of the Nintendo Prime podcast where a bunch of us got together to make bingo cards and sort of make predictions on what may or may not be in this direct, both some wants and desires combined with some realism, depending on which bingo card you're looking at. I think actually all the bingo cards had at least one major like hope that isn't likely, but we just really want to happen. I know on my bingo card, it was just... Switch 2 being revealed, and that was before before I had heard any information, but the information didn't really make it more likely. I still don't think it's very likely that that happens out of Direct, but you never know. Uh, I am just very curious what this Direct is going to be, what's going to be contained within it, what Nintendo's marketing strategy is, as, look, Nintendo's still going to continue to try to sell Switches regardless of Switch 2 coming out or not. I mean, if Switch 2 comes out this year, it's not like they're dumb with Switch. They kept supporting 3DS for a little bit after the Switch came out, I think we're going to see a, a similar situation here. They have 122 million active users, as reported by them, on the Switch. They're not just going to, like, flip the proverbial Switch and stop supporting the platform entirely. It's still going to get some games. So I'm very curious what they're going to roadmap here for the next six months for that platform. As we're really dwindling down with the games that are after Mario vs. Donkey Kong comes out, there's only three games left announced. Four, if you want to count Metroid Prime 4. <sighs> Be cool if we saw that game. Maybe that's one of the big reveals. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you shocked and surprised? Oh, no, it's not this week. So now rumors are cropping up that it's next week. Although, to be fair, uh, of all the people that were rumoring this stuff, Special Nick is more reliable than someone like Zippo. But obviously, Nintendo insiders are, t are usually the most reliable. And that is exactly what Necro Felipe Lima is. He is a Nintendo insider. So... I kind of believe it, but again, it's a rumor and you should be skeptical. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejans from Nintendo Prime, just keeping you up to date on the latest ongoings in the rumor mill for Nintendo. I'll catch you in the next video.